How's it going? I'm Devin with Mini Split Express, and today I want to show you what a ducted mini split looks like. So this is a ducted mini split. You can see it's fairly large. A lot of the times these get put in the attic, or you can have a soffit that can go in as well. So you have a supply line, and then you have the return. So what it's going to do is suck the air from the room, condition it, heat it, cool it, and then supply it back to the room. So on this particular scenario, this one's going in a small bedroom, so we only need two supply lines. You can see these lines here, they attach to the registers that go inside the ceiling. So this whole unit, you don't even see. It's recessed in the attic, not visible at all, and it supplies these registers that go inside the ceiling. So these units here, they're nice because you can put them in an attic. A lot of people, they complain about seeing a wall hung unit and they actually don't know that there's many more options available when it comes to mini splits. This is, one here in particular is a ducted mini split. You also have wall hung, ceiling cassettes, one way cassettes, there's a lot of different options. But a lot of people that don't wanna see the units on the ceiling or on the wall, they're kind of left with ducted mini splits as an option. These here, you could put in the attic so you don't see them at all or in a soffit as well. So this particular unit is going in a small bedroom. This is only a 9,000 BTU unit. You do have larger, they go up to 24,000 plus. So with each size, they do get bigger. Uh, the ductwork that comes off of those, depending on the size, is adjusted as needed. So you can see this on my left side is the return. You can see how it's a much larger diameter than what the supply is. So this here is gonna suck the air in from the room. It's going to condition it heat it, cool it, do what it needs to do inside the unit, and then it's going to supply it back into the room that you're trying to condition. Mm -hmm. So with that, these two supplies, you'll have ductwork extending off of these, mm -hmm. connecting to the ceiling registers. So inside your crawl space or attic, these will get mounted, and then all you will see on your drywall is a ceiling register. Cool. So that's all you'll see. So the beauty about these is you don't see the unit, you don't hear it, it's really invisible to a lot of people. Mm -hmm. The benefit about these compared to Central is one, you can control each room individually if you have these in each room. Um, the second side is efficiency. So compared to Central, when you turn on the Central air conditioning, you're either heating or cooling the whole house, but let's just say you're trying to sleep in your bedroom. So why would you run the whole house when you're just trying to condition one room? These here can do that. So with this system here, you can have multiple. So you can have four or five plus connected to one condenser outside and you can control each room individually. These here, a wired thermostat is kind of the only option. You don't have the option of a remote. The reason being, you can't see the unit. So this here on this side, you have two options. This upper pipe is gonna be your drain pump. So inside here, once again, when you're running air conditioner, you are gonna have condensation that builds up. There is a drain pan inside here. This pipe here is the drain pump, so it will suck that water up and pump it to the outside or your line, wherever you wanna run it to. This one down here is a gravity fed drain line. The best option on these is to go gravity fed. The reason being a drain pump is always a failure point. And if you could avoid that failure point at all costs, that's the way you wanna do it. But in some scenarios, you can't catch pitch off the bottom pump, or excuse me, the bottom drain. So the drain pump is your only option. You have your line set connections here, and inside this box right here, you have your electrical connections. On the sides, you have four tabs. Typically, this gets mounted with Unistrut, and you have ball thread that comes down and ties into them. And once again, the unit's super quiet. You have no problem. On this side here, Not a lot of people know, but you actually do have a fresh air intake option. So this hole right here, you can knock out and you actually draw air from the outside in if you would like that fresh air option. I know in the state of California, there's a lot of regulations when it comes to HRV and ERV uh, additional units. But this here is a possible way to eliminate the need for those. Because once again, it's grabbing that fresh air, it's conditioning it, and it's supplying the house with fresh air. You also do have a drain line on the left side as well. So gravity fed drain lines are on both sides. The pump is only on one side. But once again, if you can do a gravity fed line, that is the best way to run these. So this is the same unit without the plenums on each side. This is gonna be your intake and you can see the blower wheels inside here. 
Now, you can install these units without the needed ductwork if it's possible to have these against the wall or the ceiling so it could intake that air and supply it in the same room. So without the needed ductwork, you will save some money. But once again, it's tricky to do. A lot of times you have to do it inside of a soffit and it has the same functions. It does all the same great things. But with that being said, if you could save the ductwork, you'll save money on that. So this is the intake. Mm -hmm. And this side is your supply. You can see the coils inside here. So the air is gonna suck in. It's gonna hit these coils, condition it, and supply it back into the room.